Welcome back to Robeson Design. I'm Rebecca Robeson. In my design practice, we've named this the Year of the Backyard. Every single one of our projects has amazing backyards. Well, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've done some pretty cool and fun backyards. You guys remember this one, right? And who could have forget the outdoor terrace? And of course, the ones they're just about ready to reveal this summer. And we're gonna bring those to you as well. But with summer just around the corner, I thought, you know, it's time for me to update my backyard. So guess what? I wanna invite you to the design sessions this month. It's the last Saturday in May. It's at 10 o'clock in the morning, California time. And I am gonna take you through my entire backyard. Today, this looks like wah, 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 wah. But one week from now, when I film the design sessions, it's gonna look pretty amazing. Look at how my backyard has turned out in years past. Thank you kids so much. Happy Mother's Day. Here's an idea for a patio. These teak tiles, you can buy them at Ikea. Once they're assembled, they definitely bring character and style to an otherwise ordinary patio area. And they're cheap too. For this space, it was pretty small, and they wanted a nice big pool. I had to incorporate an awful lot into a very small space, fountains that go into the pool from the wall, kind of a modern Roman look. They seem really luxurious to me, and there's a glass wall that the water falls over into the pool. One of my favorite outdoor spaces was this totally enclosed courtyard. We added a lot of stonework and a fireplace. I was really attracted to this teak furniture and I think it worked really perfectly. Overall, the space feels very warm and inviting, casual yet impressive, and a place I'd be happy to spend a warm summer's evening anytime. In this one, you can see where I brought the design. The SketchUp model and the real deal looks pretty close, don't you think? Another budget-minded project I did was Shara's place. We used wood pallets coated in outdoor decking paint to create a fun outside table. We used cinder blocks, some lumber, and the same paint to also create a bench with a side table. Pretty cool, huh? We turned what used to be an ordinary, unused space into something pretty cool, a destination spot that everyone in the complex looked forward to using. Hopefully you've been able to pick up some ideas looking at all these different outdoor spaces, things that you can use in your own home. A few months ago, I received a private message from one of my viewers. He's a subscriber to my YouTube channel. He said his name is Rain Lee and that he had invented this really cool outdoor solar torchlight. <laughs> I would be interested. I set them up in my backyard. He sent them from China, by the way, mm -hmm. China. I put them up in my backyard and you know what? They were incredible. If he lived here in the US, I would tell him to go on Shark Tank. I really would. So we're doing our own version of Shark Tank today. Follow me. I just changed glasses. My house is a mess, don't look. Okay, I'm coming into my bathroom. Oh, I took my art off. This is so embarrassing. All right, so I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna turn off the lights. Pretty stinking cool. I'm so glad I thought of that. So Rain Lee, one little thing I would suggest, I have an idea for you. You need to put these on a remote control so you don't have to go around and undo them all throughout your yard. Have you thought about that? I think that's a really good idea. Now if you do do it and it makes you more money, then I wanna get paid some money. But between now and then, I'm just happy to get some of these solar torch path lights by Cinoton, C-I-N-O-T-O-N. All right, so you guys ready to get your backyards going and looking incredible, amazing, fabulous? I need a new word. What was the word? We came up with a word. If I'm trying to say amazing, spectacular, incredible, I need a new word, help me out, okay? Even in another language, that's fine too. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We'd love to hear your comments, so let me know. What's my new name? It's gotta be a good one. It's gotta be really, uh, I need a word. Leave me a comment. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.